We just got to a Scott's shop over here. Uh, he's got a lot of interesting stuff going on inside. So uh, let's see what he's got. He's expecting me. Uh, I'm sure he already saw me pulling, so I'm just gonna do a cold opening here. Just go right in. Let's see what we got. What's up? Here we go. So yeah, this is what Scott's shop's got going on. Hey, Janny Journal. So I'm in my garage, and one of the projects I've been working on for a number of years is designing and building a small World War II fighter plane. And people ask if it's like RC or whatever, but no, this is gonna have an actual pilot that would sit here in this seat. So we've been building it out of aluminum and it has a motor, which you can see behind you. It's a five cylinder radial engine from Werner. It's in the Czech Republic. And we are now a dealer for that motor. So if you wanna buy a Werner radial, uh, hook me up. We got the engine over there. We got a bunch of sheet metal storage. All aluminum, huh? Yeah, a whole bunch of aluminum uh, on a rack. We built a custom rack. Behind it, we got tubes and long stuff. We got up top, we got a bunch of tubes and long stuff. You know, whenever we got weld mints, we make those up and paint them. Um, we do a lot of sheet metal layout on this table. Lots of cutting by hand and all that stuff. We also have a CNC machine, so let's go check that out because that's what does a lot of the work. So this is the uh, work area out here and we'll head into where they do most of the uh, fab work in this area. Yep, so this is my CNC shop. I've got a small CNC mill that I'm building. Uh, it doesn't quite run in CNC mode yet. I'm still kind of running manual, but it's a Precision Matthews PM25. Uh, it's a really cool mini mill imported but nice and clean does a lot of good work and um it's got the spindle it's got it's got everything it's, it's a pretty nice unit and then i uh behind us we got the cnc router table i was mentioned before this does a lot of the work for us i can throw a sheet of aluminum right on there put in the program it cuts it all out so it's pretty cool and uh uses carbide, aluminum cutting bits, all kinds of stuff. And um, you can see some of the scars of old projects on there. Yeah, and this thing will take a full four by eight. Yep, four, four I don't know by how, how well the video shows it, but yeah, this thing is, and did you mention this was, you guys made this? Yeah, uh, there was a kit that gave us the aluminum for like moving it, but everything else, the frame, the, all the motion, I had to kind of do myself. So it's a custom one-off. CNC table. Scott's other uh, business and hobby area, which is paintball. He's got quite a bit of stuff over here. Yep, so I designed a magazine for the paintball TPX pistol from Titman called the Zeta Mag. And it's a 10 and 10 rounds. You stick it in, you fire your rounds, you flip it, and you get 10 more rounds. So from 7 to 20 is a pretty cool thing. So that's a product I came up with, and now we're working on some other stuff. I got a whole wall of gear and all kinds of little projects. I haven't been in here as much as I should be, but you know, I got all kinds of other stuff taking my time. So 
you know, but I got a mill, lathe, all that little kind of stuff for doing paintball projects, and it comes in handy, so that's what I've been working with. <laughs>so now we're back in Scott's uh, this is his, like design area like computer stuff all over the place and 3d printer for prototyping yep I got a customized maker bot that I'm in the middle of rebuilding it so it doesn't run right at the moment but I made a custom carriage head for it for printing higher temp stuff and uh, yeah so I do a lot of prototyping for paintball with that I make little models I'm working on a u-boat at the moment. Wait, so what is that for? It's a U-boat model oh. for my desk. Okay, for your desk. And then I got my camera gear and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I got my battle station over there with the, the 4K monitor and the, all the all the toys. So 17 gonna, computer chairs. Too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is for office conferences. Yeah, we gotta have the meetings. Gotta have the meetings. All right, we're over here in uh, Scott's office area, work area, computer design area. So what do we got going on? Some t-shirt designs here? A little bit of graphic design. Yeah, we're working on the t-shirt. We got the logo. I'm working on some kind of a catchphrase for the channel. Yeah, we don't have one, so we're just going to make it up on the fly. Just yeah. put it on the t-shirt, then we have to say it. <laughs> Marketing genius, right? But we got the finger. We got the words for the channel name, we got the YouTube logo so you know what we're talking about. And uh, it's on a fancy t-shirt graphic, so... So we got the airplane, we got all the other stuff, we also got a TIG welder. Uh, Miller Dimension Diversion 180, something like that. Uh, it's a basic one, but it does the job. We, we can weld up pretty much whatever we need for the plane. Hydraulic press. Uh, yeah, so... Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. You gotta, gotta love them. Right? Sorry, we got one of those. Yeah, so that's the plane. That's that's, that's my shop. And uh, check out our stuff online. I'll have links in the description. Scalebirds, Stark Pursuit, anything else I get involved in. And uh, that's it for my stuff. What about you, Joe? Uh, no, other than that, you guys saw the t-shirts we were designing. We're finally getting the logo finalized. You guys have been seeing it in the beginning of the video. Um, we're up over 400 subs now. Once we get to 500 subs, we're going to be doing a video and a giveaway. So definitely keep your eyes out for that. Um, other than that, we'll catch you guys next time on the Jantic Journal.